This video is an installation video of a pair of three and a half inch Polk Audio uh, coaxial speakers that I'm putting into or on my jet ski. I saw a lot of different videos online or pictures online and, and YouTube and uh, I didn't want to actually put a hole in my hull for music, but I did want to hear music. So what I've decided to do was expand on a video, short video that was on uh, YouTube or is on YouTube that I'll link to, <clears throat> that you put it in the cover of your uh, glove box uh, that sits right between your legs. Uh, these little speakers, I understand, are pretty strong and pretty good. Uh, there is a question about bass response, but not that big of a deal. So I went and bought a new hatch cover, uh, lid cover for the uh, jet ski. This is for, by the way, a Sea Doo. Uh, 155 or GTI 155 SE and uh, the idea is to put these little speakers right here on the uh, on the jet ski and you'll be able to hear music so what do you need to do to install this very simply I used a Milwaukee I don't know what these things are called uh, it's a hole saw <clears throat> three inch hole saw and uh, drilled a little hole marked on the bottom of a new hatch cover here. Uh, a dot here, that fit there and there. And I then, from the bottom, drilled directly into the uh, cover. And what I found was that the teeth on this are uh, too sharp, or I guess uh, not, maybe not sharp enough. <laughs> But I had to go backwards, so instead of going forward to dig through this, I actually went I went in reverse and just pushed down after I had already put the hole through. And in about 10 seconds, uh, these things popped out. Uh, worked out really, really well. Then had to take box cutter and just smooth out the edges because the heat that is generated when you drill through here actually raises this whole piece up here. It becomes very, very sharp, so you need to actually use the box cutter to cut around the edge. So the next step is actually installing the uh, speakers into here and I'm going to do that by drilling a hole here and here and then this speaker will be put here and uh, will fit like that uh, in here. So working in the house I am using the box to balance this on. I will hold this and then take a I don't know what size the drill bit is, but it's slightly smaller than the actual screw that comes with it. One thing before I start drilling, I want to say that uh, the drill bit does sort of slide all over the plastic, uh, the cover. So make a little indentation with the tip of your box cutter. You can see I drilled a little, or just use the tip, that little hole right there, that's enough for the drill bit to bite into so that it doesn't slide all over. And now I gotta put this down so I can hold the plastic. So you can see from the edge here, the two little holes are drilled through. One right here, one right here. And now I'm going to drill on the other side, uh, try and get the same angle so the screws line up. Okay, as you can see, I did a bad job with the four screws. They're not equal, distant, whatever. What that's telling me is one thing, I need black screws because otherwise that looks kind of dumb. Uh, so I'm going to run to the hardware store and get black screws when I complete this. The other thing that I learned by doing this is when you put these, I'm going to put the speakers in and show you uh, that we're going to need to get another component too. We're going to have to get some more rubber like this to cover the entire area for the speakers to seat into. Uh, but I'll show you here uh, as soon as I put them in. Okay, so now you can see the speaker actually in the hole. It looks nice. It's kind of flush, almost flush mounted. But you also can see that because it's flush, uh, the piece here is not flat. There's some big holes around the speaker. I was originally just going to fill that with some type of silicone caulk. But now I'm thinking that doesn't make as much sense as actually putting a sheet of rubber in there and then sealing it. So off to Amazon I go to find the piece of plastic or rubber. 
All right, so Amazon to the rescue ordered a one quarter inch thick rubber. Um, looked at a bunch of different ones. I wanted to find one that had some type of um, adhesive already on it. I could just peel off, but instead I'm ending up using a 3M super multi-purpose adhesive. It worked perfectly. Um, what you're going to see here is <clears throat> the not a perfect job. Yeah, this is my first time doing it. It gives you an idea of what it looks like when it's seated in here. You cannot see any of the anything, any light through here because there's a rubber sheet that I put underneath here. Now I gotta tell you, working with rubber or neoprene is not easy. And when I tried to cut it with the hole saw, it shredded the uh, the edges here. So this one is in particularly bad shape. When, I'm, when I put the uh, speaker in here, I'm gonna have to push this back even further so that it just stays out of the way. But that's okay because as the speaker gets tightened down by the screws here, you can see using these things, it actually gets tightened down. It gets pushed down, it pulls into the rubber, and it actually stays seated. I did go and bought new screws these metal screws, which would have been nice to use because they're flat headed, I thought looked kind of crummy on here. So I went and bought anodized, the darker screws. Problem is these are wood screws. Didn't notice that when I bought it. So I ended up, this isn't perfect. Uh, I will work on this. Um, you're gonna have to countersink these if you want it to be completely flush. It's not bad. You can see over there, the bottom one. It's not perfect, but they're definitely down pretty far. I had to use a bigger diameter drill bit. I used the biggest one there, which is, uh, what is that, a quarter inch maybe? Um, and yeah, I think it's a quarter inch. And I then worked it back and forth with the drill uh, to make the top of it a little bit more open. Drop the screw in, <clears throat> put the fasteners on, on either side you can see, on either side, and then gently began to tighten the screws on either side to make sure that the speaker was in the middle of the hole and was completely covered all the way around. Now, I am going to add a certain amount of caulk or some type of adhesive on the outside here to make sure that it stays watertight, uh, but um, that'll be the next step. So now what I'm gonna do is put the screws in here and show you how to tighten it down. Screws all the way in, there we go. Fasteners attached, you can see how that looks right there. Speaker is now on, clips are in place. Let's see how I did that. There's a clip on either side here. The screw comes through. And now what I'll want to do, and I can't do this on film, unfortunately, I am going to pick this up, turn it over, center the speaker so that it's in the center of the hole, and then I will tighten it slowly on each side so that the speaker doesn't lean one way or the other, but it's just perfectly flat all the way down like that one. Before I do that, you can see as I just turned it over, that rubber piece that I showed you was in bad shape, is out of whack, I gotta move that over. And then you can see here, by not having the speaker centered, you won't have the rubber all the way seated against the edge of the speaker. Uh, one thing I would do wanna point out is I put the Polk sign, this is the bottom of the lid, I put the Polk to the face out to the sides. That's the one aesthetic thing that I tried to get right. Okay, so I've tightened the screws the way that I explained on the inside here with the uh, these little bracket things that came with the speakers. And so they're tight, they're all the way down. There's no light that you can see through. Um, I used, before I tightened it all the way, before I tightened the four screws all the way down, I used the slot head screwdriver and I made and I shoved the rubber gasket that, that basically we've made 
up underneath and then tightened it all the way down. So again, aesthetically, it looks a little better than it did before. Uh, in the future, I guess I will, uh, the next one I will make so that it's not all scratched up. This is scratched, but um, the jet ski gets scratched, so it's not a big deal. Um, now, the next step is to install the stereo system actually inside the jet ski. But the speakers are in the door and uh, look pretty darn good. So, uh, we're halfway there.